Hey, welcome back. We're going to give the smoker a rest today. We're going to make some clam chowder soup. I'm a big chowder fan. I love seafood chowder. We went back east for a couple weeks last year on a little eating tour, and uh, it was awesome. I mean, I could hang out at Portland, Maine and just eat for weeks and months. Uh, I like it simple. I don't do the carrots and celery and all that stuff in there that's vegetables. That's just kind of, I like to eat those once a month, and it's early in the month, so we don't give the vegetables a break. But uh, we're going to put some shrimp in there. I like to cut those in thirds, but there's some big, nice shrimp. Uh, I'm going to give you just a couple tips I think will make better chowder for you. Uh, my mom was an awesome cook, but when she made clam chowder soup, she threw everything in the pot and cooked it and it was done. Uh, you get so much flavor. So here's the first thing you need to do if you're not doing it. Put your potatoes in some butter and, and cook those up. So instead of just throwing them in my pot and letting them cook in my chowder, I'm going to cook those up. I'm going to give them a little butter texture. I'm going to season them. I'm going to season those up with some jalapeno, or not jalapeno, Cajun. I'm going to put a little Cajun in there, um, and some white pepper, and stuff. And so I'm going to cook everything separate. So I'm going to cook my potatoes in here, then I'm going to put them in my pot. I've got my other pan where those potatoes are cooking. I'm going to cook up my onions, and so I've chopped them fine. We'll saute the onions, put them in the pot. We'll cook our bacon up, put it in the pot, shrimp. We'll add that last because it cooks fast, our clams. And we got some, just some clam juice. Um, kind of on lockdown with Corona, so we don't have crab and some lobster and stuff like that. You'd make a really good seafood. But it's going to make a good, a good clam chowder. But that's your big tip of the day. Do each one separate. Build those layers of flavor in your soup. You're going to have a much better chowder. See you in a minute. Okay, so we sauteed that. We cooked our potatoes in some butter. Put some um, white pepper so it doesn't show up so much into our clam chowder. Did use a little bit of regular pepper, also some salt, and then Cajun. That's all on those potatoes. We sauteed our onions, um, our bacon, cooked that up, put the bacon in there. Uh, don't tell the skinny people, but I dump a little of the bacon grease in there also. That makes it nice. Butter's your friend. We're just finishing the shrimp. Man, you don't want to overcook them. I mean, they're just kind of going right now from that purple to kind of that orange color. Uh, so we're just same sauce, take them up in a little, uh, so I'll take them up in a little butter just to keep them rolling. So when they're done, I'm going to put the clams in a little butter too. Same thing. So many people just dump the clams in. Dude, let them bring out a little flavor and a little butter. Butter's your friend. Always remember that. Even if you're lost in the mountains, butter's your friend. So we're going to throw the shrimp in there, do the clams, saute them in some butter, throw those in there, and then we're going to make a roux and get our sauce going. So we'll see in just a okay, second. So we're going to make a little roux. That'll thicken our sauce. We're going to use cornstarch so it's gluten free. Uh, I've got a little butter in there. Should use that half and half. There's a little cream. I'm going to need about half, three fourths a cup of this cornstarch and that's going to thicken up real fast. I'm in trouble already but that's all right. I've been in trouble before. I should use my half and half instead of cream but there's a good lesson for you. I just want to paste that up, make my little roux. Um, like I said, I'd use that half and half over there instead of the cream, but I'm neck deep now, so we'll just keep going. Left-handed switch, you see that? All right. So that's just going to make us a little roux to thicken up our sauce when we get the cream and everything. So see that little ghost hand come in there and get that? Good job, Tiffany. <laughs> My wife Tiffany's filming, she's a rock star. Uh, I can't put her in front of the camera because then everybody would buy it just because she's beautiful instead of the cooking. So we try to keep, you know, ugly guy on this side with a good radio voice. And uh, anyway, it's all good. So there's, trying to get all those lumps out so we don't have lumpy sauce. So we're just gonna finish that. That has everything in there that we've, been talking about. I'm gonna dump where my cream go. I'm gonna still I'm gonna dump that in there. I know a lot of you guys are judging right now, saying, holy cow, that's a lot of cream. You're right. Uh, don't judge. I'm gonna keep thickening this up a little bit, adding to that. And it is gonna make some good stuff. Okay, that's there. I'm gonna add some uh, this to my pot, 
I'm going to add the rest of that half and half to my pot. And uh, I'm going to put just a touch more seasoning on there. And then we're going to let it just cook for a bit and we'll be done. See you in a second. Hey, so our clam chowder is done. Uh, looks great. Tastes great. It's been simmering for about 45 minutes. Just letting those flavors kind of mix together and get rolling. Uh, I don't have the big crowd here to taste funny you make ribs last night and I got a house full already to eat it. Tonight you make soup and it's crickets. But anyway, turned out good. Good Boston soup. It's got good potatoes and all that stuff we put into it. Uh, great flavor. Looks good. Anyway, keep cooking. Stay safe. We'll make something else soon and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.